So I was so disappointed with the last video I made that I wanted to do another one. Um, it's just some junk wax stuff, 89, 88 tops. I'm really looking for anything that would grade out in the nines or tens. Uh, I usually don't send out, not usually don't, I don't send out cards to get graded, but I like to know that I have the option or that I have the cards to, to do it sometimes. So, um, you know, 88 looking for a Glavin rookie, um, 89, Brady Johnson, Sheffield. It's a couple error cards in here. So, I don't know. Let's see. I, I don't particularly like 88 tops. I have a really good memory of opening it with my father, but um, it's, it's a pretty boring design, and there's not not a lot of great rookies, or it's like one great rookie out of here, uh, Nolan Ryan, so it's a nice, it's a little off-center on the, on the left, but... Dave Dravecki, Larry Sheets, Greg Gross, what a name. To have a name like Greg Gross and then to wear the that glass, those glasses and have that type of mustache. 88 was a pretty good year for uh, for movies. I have Lord of the Rings on right now. I've never seen the Lord of the Rings cartoon. I've seen The Hobbit many times, very creepy. Anybody seen The Hobbit? Uh, is it Rankin Bass who did it? Um, I just read the book and I really enjoyed it. It's a really quick read. And I'm on the, uh, about to finish up the Two Towers right now. And I think it is the, the best fantasy I've ever read. Um, and up there with the best fiction. Got a Gwyn and Benny Santiago. I'll put that over here. And Vanderberg. There's a an Eddie Murray error in this, I think. It's weird that there's a Harry Potter advertisement in this because I didn't I thought VHS were, were not in production when Harry Potter came out, but I guess wrong. Terry Steinbach, Dave Smith, Tom McKee, Corey Snyder. Scott Bradley, Edwardson, and Les Lancaster, Rick Leach, Mike Hammond. Yeah, uh, the Hobbit movies aren't so good. I, I don't, I saw the first one in the theater. They, uh, Guillermo del Toro was originally supposed to direct it, which would have been great. And, um, he quit. I can't remember, or I don't know why, but here we go. This one's not bad. 87 record break with McGuire. Looks centered really good. Oh, it's a little. On the left, it's a little off. Um, Steve Trout. Mike Trout's third cousin once removed. That is a lie. Uh, Pedro Guerrero. So the, uh, was oh yeah, the Hobbit movies, they, they looked really bad. They looked like video games. And, um, Felt like a cash grab. The only thing I, I did like, not the only thing I did like, I liked some stuff. I, I really enjoyed the um, seeing Gandalf and Elrond, Galadriel and Saruman uh, drive the necromancer out of uh, Mirkwood, uh, Sauron. Uh, that was cool to film the, the backstory that was introduced in The Hobbit. Uh, I love the two towers. I love the movie. I love the the trilogy. I really love the two towers, and uh, the book is great too. I saw it four times in the theater. I think. I love the ends. Mel Hall, Bill Alman, Tommy John. This is a this is a good one. Mark McGuire. Sharp card. You know. It's got something on the back, but whatever. It's, it's a nice card. Uh, I have a lot of these, but I had them, you know, since the early 90s when I when I 
bought them. So the condition on some of the ones I have are, are pretty poor. Uh, what was I saying? The Lord of the Rings, the um, Dwight Evans. One of my favorite memories was going to a Red Sox game, and I can't remember what what the score was, but it was rainy and miserable, and Dwight Evans came up, and the sun opened up, and uh, the sky opened up. There was like a sunbeam. Looked like it was coming down the field, and he hit a grand slam. I think that was one of his. I mean, that must have been 92 or so. Uh, his last year, I think. I could be wrong. But used to be able to get tickets at Fenway, like, right behind home plate. Or on third. My dad would like third baseline so we could watch Wade Boggs. But I think I got the stubs upstairs. They're like 15 bucks, 10 $15. And then as time went on, it got a little bit more expensive. And then we were been at fifteen dollars. We were sitting in the the bleachers, and now it's we go to the Pawtucket Red Sox game instead because it's just way too expensive. Um, Alex Trevino, Jeff. Fred. So yeah, Amazon's got the Lord of the Rings series coming out, which I'm so excited for. Which takes place prior to this in the hobbit takes place during the second age so you can see the rings being created and the uh the, the big bad then was morgoth and it's the end of morgoth and kind of the beginning of sauron so really excited about that let me know if you like Lord of the rings in the comments because Stuff like that. Rodin, Rafael Ramirez, Vince Coleman with a ding. Not a fan of Vince Coleman. I don't like these cards. And like Bowman had those cards with like the TV, um, kind of similar to this. I think '89 Bowman, and I hated those well, but is no one, so I will put it aside. Um, '88 had some good movies. You had um. Die Hard came out in 88. I was a lean rookie. Uh, ch -ch -ch, what else do you have? A Beetlejuice. Saw that in the theater in 88. What a bizarre movie, Beetlejuice. I mean, the fact that it even exists blows my mind. It's a movie that you really wouldn't see it get made in 2019. Um, and if it did, it would, it would bomb so hard. So which on movies don't do well anymore. But uh Tim Burton was was great then. Not so much anymore. I think the last good movie I mean people like Big Fish. I didn't love Big Fish, but um for me the last great movie he did was even I don't even know if I call it great was uh Sleepy Hollow. Gary Carter. That looks really good. I have a couple examples of tens out of here that I use. And um, looks a little off on the left again. But the example, even using the examples, I have a hell of a time figuring out if, if they are a 10 or not. But, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, Beetlejuice was a... Or Tim Burton really had some cool stuff. Pee-wee's Big Adventure, Beetlejuice. Now I'm drawing a blank. Can't think of Tim Burton movies. Here we go. Don Mattingly. And then, uh... He just... Shit the bed, excuse my language, but I don't... Uh, I don't know what happened to him. It's all good. This looks like there's some white powder on here. I'll be up all night now. Uh, a lot of direct, they just fade out. It's, it's, Scorsese's one of the few unique people who has not gotten worse over time. It just, I don't know what it is, but it's, I don't know, 
why it happens, but you see a lot of directors as their career goes on, they always get worse and worse and worse. And uh, maybe it's just better to create the spark. Once you, once you do it, you know, the, that drive may not be there anymore, I don't know. Um, let's not put aside, you know, create, I don't know, I don't know, but they do. And I remember Tarantino, who I'm not, what is this? What is on his eye? That's, so he's crying. Um, if I played on the 1988 Red Sox, I'd be crying too. Tarantino, who I'm not, uh, is the Bash Brothers. A huge fan of, he talked about it, ending his career early so he didn't suffer the same fate as other directors have. And uh, a lot of people do think his, um, the quality of his movies have, have dropped. I did like The Hateful Eight. It felt like a remake of The Thing. John Carpenter's The Thing. Or that very claustrophobic, whodunit, everybody's a suspect type thing. And I think they, they just put on Netflix, like the extent, or they broke it up into four episodes. Essentially, they turned into a, a miniseries. Um, Great Outdoors came out in 1980 with uh, John Candy. I absolutely love that movie. One, it's one of those movies that you can, or I can always watch. Poor pack. Uh, Roger Rabbit came out in 88. Still holds up. The freakish and absolutely terrifying Mac and Me came out in 1988. McDonald's attempt at a movie, um, which if you haven't seen Mac and Me, it's it's worth checking out. Frank Viola, Paul Noyce, Noyce, Mike Easler. Um, little known fact about Mike Easler, I may mention it in another video, but he. Uh, He's, he gave Milvon his swing. He taught, you know, Milvon's uh, learned a lot under Mike Kiesler and uh, improved his hitting. Harold Reynolds looks older then than he does now. Greg Matthews, Mike Morgan, Harold Baines. A little off on the right. I like the White Sox cards in the series for some reason. I don't know why. The reminds me of Christmas a little bit. Al Newman, Mike. Lacoste and Henry Coto. Yeah, Mac and Me was is uh, a nightmarish two and a half or two hour long advertisement for McDonald's, their version of E.T. But it doesn't look like E. You know, it looks like a kid with Pro Jerry or something. I'm having a hell of a time organizing my cards lately, and. Uh, if you have any tips on organizing, how you organize your cards, let me know because it is a pain in the ass. I try to do it alphabetically, but it seems it always, you know, as I get more, it falls apart. And uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I guess, you know, I, I keep the higher end stuff separate, like Felder. But like all these, like these lower end. Hall of Famers, you know, what, what do you what do you do with these? Do you do anything with them? Do you collect these? These trash. Some people they are. So that looks like a... So, so centering-wise, I, I think that may be a 10. The picture is terrible, and I don't know if it's this car, if all of them have a blurry... Um, picture, or if it's, if it's a printing, you know, if it's from the factory, I don't know, but uh, eye appeal is really low because of it. Mike Mason, uh, they live with Rowdy Piper came on 88. Great movie, John Carpenter. John Carpenter was another one, had that huge streak of just awesome stuff, and then towards the end, he, uh, his, his wasn't so good. I can't remember the last movie he made, I didn't even see, but before that was like Ghosts of Mars and something else. Uh, Solomon Consett, 
was was amazing watching him for Fly Eleven play his the soundtracks to the movie with the movies playing in the background. Maybe the best concert I've been to. But from what I understand, John Carpenter just likes to uh, watch basketball and play video games. He's huge into video games. It's a Fisk. Tops bottom looks a little off. You know, when I was looking at the PSA registry for 88 Tops, a lot of these were so much lower than I expected. Um, I assume that pretty much every semi star to Hall of Fame or whatever a huge population of nines and tens, and some of these have no tens and uh, very low nines. So I don't know if it's just a hard one to to get a nine or ten on, or if it's um, that people don't. You know, aren't, aren't really getting these graded. Quite a Washington. They live. I just called my card. They live. It's late. Rick Shue, Willie Randolph. Uh, yeah. Okay. So this was the uh, other rookie, Kem Caminiti, and that is like, see, that's a sharp card. That looks like a ten to me. It's nice. It's okay. And behind him, Paul Muller. John Carpenter had a really, had a knack for making things feel dire. Like there was impending doom. The world was gonna end. Uh, had the kind of, uh, the, the main characters, Always, uh, the protagonist was always in a, you know, had to get something done, or so it seemed. Uh, not Tim Raines. Before whatever doom came, Necro Brothers. I like the I like the record breakers. Al Nipper, Dave Winfield, Dave Martinez, Bob Sebra, Phil Murphy. Kurt Gibson, Raphael Santana. I think my favorite on the Carpenter movie. I mean, Halloween's great. Halloween 2 is. I don't love it. I used to love it when I was younger. Um, they Live is great. The, the Thing. The Thing is arguably the best horror movie ever made. Uh, it, it is amazing. And it was. It was torn up when it came out. People hate it, or the reviews at least were really bad. Ebert had thrashed it, and it's, I don't know why, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. And it, the special effects in there hold up so well. Um, Kevin Seitz, the rookie. Also in 88 um, was The Blob, the remake of The Blob. Uh, which I, I adore. And if you haven't seen it and you like horror movies and you like really nasty body horror type stuff, I highly suggest watching The Blob. Uh, I can't remember the guy who directed it, but he did... Um, he did Nightmare on Elm Street 3, The Dream Warriors, and he did... The Mask, not The Mask with Eric Stoltz, the disfigured kid, but um, Jim Carrey's The Mask. Here there's Clemens. Uh, which is a, a lot of people don't know, Mask, The Mask with Carrey is um, a comic book, Dark Horse comic book, uh, and a very violent adult comic book. Face on there, but the uh, the Blob remake is is fantastic, and it never gets love. You know, 
I can't remember who's in it, the girl that's in it. She's in the Saw movies. But it is a disgusting body horror, body melt, disfiguring. All the, you know, when the blob gets you, end up looking like Todd Benziger. I was looking at his stats the other day on Baseball Reference, and his uh, his war was negative. It was like negative 0 0.02. Not, not good. That's a great, great card. So there is an error here, and I don't remember what it is exactly. With Eddie Murray. That's just this is fantastic. I love that card. Um, what else came out in 88? Bobby Bo. Do I want to put him aside? I don't really like Bobby Bo. Twins came out in 88. Which I think was the first movie that showed off Arnold being, you know, that he could be funny. Moose Haas. What a name. Joey Corey. I'd learn to Ellis Burks. I'll put him aside. I like Ellis Burks. Steve Balboni and Mike Heath. Twins, great, great movie. Uh, Ivan Reitman directed it. I don't know if he wrote it. So we'll go 89 tops looking for Randy Johnson, Gary Sheffield, Bob Welch era, and Franklin Stubbs era. I think, I, I don't know, I'll have to look after. But. Yikes. Oof. Geez. This is one sticky pack. Alright, that card's whatever. Jim Fragosi, you're out. You are out of here. And who who got the we got the Cleveland Indians with the gum. See ya. Uh, 88, what else, what else, what else? God, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Dan Cuisenberry. Died pretty young. Like 46, I think. Kelly Downs. Gary Varsho. Randy Bogus. Julio Franco. Benny Santiago. Barry Lyons. Man, that dude's got a long head. Jim Traver. Lee Smith. Bobby Bowe. Rick Dempsey. And Raphael Palmero. Uh, yeah, Kill Clouds from Outer Space. Fun, goofy movie. Never was a huge fan of it. Which is, I don't know why, because I generally like that, those type of movies. Um, Night of the Demons came out in 88, which is one of my favorite movies. It, I think it's the, for me it's the best Halloween movie ever made I like it more than Halloween Mike Campbell it's about Harold Reynolds I feel Ramirez it's about a bunch of kids who go into a haunted house at night and summon demons and it's really got a creepy 80's zeitgeist I don't even know how to describe it Kevin Mitchell but it's it's an awesome movie if you haven't seen Night of the Demons, I think it's on Amazon Prime. <sighs> Yikes. Jim Shields. Joe Hesketh. Got some gum. This car was hot for a minute. Bob Stanley, Brady Anderson, rookie. I think, yeah. That's right. I forgot he came up through Red Sox. Mike Greenwell, the Gator. Eric King. Scott Bankhead. Steve Ellsworth. I don't remember this guy. Vance Law. You know, I was watching... Um, going to bed last night. I was watching... Eighty-five White Sox in Detroit, I think. 
just a random game on YouTube. And Vance Law, I think, was playing for the White Sox at the time. Doesn't matter. The point is, really sucks that there isn't a. I, I don't know if ESPN Classic exists anymore, but I don't have it where I am. We have like the, the premium package that you get all the channels. So uh, I don't think it exists. Otis Nixon. I'm sorry, buddy. Goodbye. And uh, Bill Walton. It really sucks that I, w I wish there was a uh, channel where I could watch just classic baseball all the time. Um, and I think it would be Sid Bream, Tony Penny. I think it would be good, Tony Gwynn. For, you know, when I talk to people who are a little younger than me, uh, they know nothing about baseball prior to, you know, 2000, you know, whatever their era is. Colorado put him aside. Who is that? Kevin McReynolds. It would just be, it would be nice to, uh, for younger people to watch, to, to see how, how the game has changed. And it would just, and it'll also be fun to watch, period. Uh, I, I don't know why there is no way to watch classic baseball. I think you can watch classic football on, on YouTube on Comcast. Which I don't like. Roberto Alomar, that sucks. He's got the gum. It's not bad. Alright, let's see. Spring Fever Baseball. Jorge Brett. The curved corner on this on the, it kind of throws me off when it comes to uh, how centered they are. And I, I, I didn't really look at many examples of it. I graded 89 top, so. Andre Dawson. Kyle, Glenn Davis, Rico, Kenny Martinez, Dave Henderson, Kevin McReynolds, and Jack Howell. Excuse me. All this baseball card dust. Trying my sinuses out. Damn, Daryl. Stop that. I saw a rookie. I don't know who it was. Trying to get a box of um, Fangoria trading cards. Clark, Nolan Ryan, but they're expensive. I found one guy in Australia, but he won't, uh, can't be needy. Is Biggio in this? Is this Biggio rookie? Or is that 88 top? 88 tops have Biggio. Ron Gant. I just realized that that box had no Glavin, no, no Biggio, nothing. Pocket. One more, one more pack. Yeah, this guy wants, uh, yeah, sorry, he, to, he only wants to sell the Vanguard cards by the pack, and I'd like to get a box. And, uh, I don't know, go through and talk about the movies. Greg Swindell. All right, Brian Fisher. Quite good in turn back clock. John Smiley. There is an error that you know back John Smiley on this, I think. Ricky Jordan. Who is that? Is that Maddox? That doesn't look like kind of does. I don't know. Carlos Quintana. He was terrible. He did have a nice hit streak once, I remember. Carol Hamilton. Okay, Ryan Sandberg, Sandman, and Ron Robinson. So, no no great rookies or anything, but I don't know. The, except the last video I made was garbage, and I couldn't deal with it. I started uh, thinking about it.
So I might actually delete that, and since I am going to probably delete it, I will say that I am going to do probably the next two weeks set up a uh, 100 subscriber giveaway. I don't know if it's going to be a contest or I'm just going to say comment and I'll pick somebody. I'd rather try to, you know, engage with uh, the few people who do watch these videos a little bit more. So that's the scoop of that. I, I'm gonna try to put together something really nice too. And uh, try to do it in a way where I can kind of customize it to whoever's, whoever wins, you know. So that's it. I hope this uh, video found you well and you enjoyed it. And uh, that's that. Have a good night or day. Bye.